one of the easiest ways to set up streaming services on your Apple TV um, is to actually install the streaming service apps on your device. This way you don't have to do anything with AirPlay or plugging in devices. Um, you can literally just open up your Apple TV, open the right app, and find the movie you want and hit play. So before you install any apps, the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure your Apple TV is up to date. So you're going to do that by going to the settings app. And then you're going to go down to system and then software update. Go ahead and click on update software and it will tell you whether or not your software is up to date or not. If it's not, it will let you install that update, no passwords, it'll go ahead and just install that update for you. Now once you've installed that update, now you're ready to go ahead and install some apps. So I can do that with the App Store. And the App Store is just like the App Store on your phone or your mobile device. Um, this is where you can go to download apps and pretty much every streaming service out there has an app for it. So when I open up the App Store, I can tell it to continue if it's the first time I've ever been here. And then there's a lot of different apps to choose from. Um, it'll show the most popular apps up here up front, and chances are most of those are going to be your streaming apps anyway, which you may want. Or you know, I can go up here to the top and I can search for a specific app if I need to. But in this case, let's say I want Disney Plus. So I'm going to go over here to Disney Plus. I'm going to tap. Now when I click Get, even though it's a free app, it's still going to make me sign in to an account. So this is my school Apple ID. Um, I cannot use my school managed Apple ID to buy apps, uh, unfortunately. So you have to use a personal Apple ID, what one you would use to buy apps maybe already for your iPad or what you use maybe on an iPhone. Um, they're free. You can make a new one if you need to um, by going to iCloud.com. But once you've created that Apple ID or iCloud account, I can go under here and hit enter new. And this is where I can go ahead and sign in. Now, it's kind of a pain typing with this uh, remote, but once you can get it all in here, I would also recommend doing this when students are not in the room. Then it's going to ask for your password, and then you tell it to sign in. So it may ask you to authenticate um, using two-factor authentication. This just means it probably sent a message to your phone just verifying that this is a real uh, login and it'll give you a temporary code that you can use. And again, click with your remote to enter in your code. This is a one-time code. You don't have to remember this. Um, and it should remember your login once you've logged in before. Now, here's where you can choose whether or not you want it to require your password every time, never, or maybe after 15 minutes. I would recommend doing at least after 15 minutes just for security's sake. Um, otherwise, theoretically, anybody that comes into your room would be able to download and install apps on your Apple TV without knowing your password. So now you're gonna see the little progress wheel go through, and then once it's finished, it's gonna change to an open. Now when I tell it to open, this will open up that app. So I have just installed the Disney Plus app on my uh, Apple ID. And here's where I'll simply just sign in to Disney Plus. So um, again, this is not your district account. This is just something that you may have on your own that you choose to sign in. Uh, and so I would be able to sign in and then sign in with my Disney account. Now, when you sign into an account, a lot of times it's going to give you different profiles, ones for each member of your family. It's a good idea to create an individual profile for school so that when you are watching things at home, those things don't show up as previously watched or continue watching. Um, it just creates less distractions. So you can create your own school profile or school user so that when you log in, you will actually see a school account that you can use just to watch things for school. And you can even set those things up later uh, if you want at home the day before. And so now I can hit my menu button and go back. You'll see I now have the Disney Plus app and I could go through and do the exact same thing uh, with my uh, any other streaming services I want. Maybe I have Hulu. Um, I may get a cloud icon if I've already downloaded this app on another device in the past 
Otherwise, I would have the get button, which same thing, it'll allow me to get it. I could download Amazon Prime. And once I've downloaded all the apps I want, they're just gonna show up in my menus, just like this, across the bottom, and then I will just need to sign in to those individual accounts. Now, the only thing to be weary of here is that this is you signing into your account on a school device. So if you were ever to change rooms or to leave the district, you would want to make sure that you either signed out of these accounts or deleted these apps off of your Apple TV, which you can do just by pressing and holding down uh, on the button and then the plus sign and it gives you the option to delete an app if you need to. So that's how you install apps on your Apple TV.